Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Steel Monotype run of EV Emerald. Last time, we captured Regice and Regirock and ran one final errand to the abandoned ship. There's only really one thing left to do, but that's going to require a bit of prep work. A whole lot of this later! Oh yeah, and you can rematch Wally. I don't think he's really gotten any tougher. All right, well, fine. It looks like it's gonna be a solo run. All right. So yeah, now he waits for you at the end like he does in Ruby and Sapphire. You know, it is kind of annoying that you access Sky Pillar before the post-game in Emerald version because, well, in Ruby and Sapphire, Sky Pillar is a great place to grind your Pokémon because, well, the Pokemon, wild Pokémon there are in the level in the 50s range. But you lose that. In this version, they're in the 30s. And the strongest wild Pokémon that you can find are... Basically, an artisan cave. It's just a bunch of smeargle. Yeah, shit sucks. This is gonna take a while. Nice. Huh. I guess I can just rematch him however many times I want. Cool. So yeah, as it turns out, occasionally he'll just randomly be able to want to battle you. I don't think that's a thing in Vanilla Emerald. It might just be something for this hack. Still, awfully convenient. Oh yes, and occasionally gym leaders will want to rematch you. They'll give you a call if they do. This is payback for all the shit you gave me when I was getting my badge! Now we'll take on Winona! You're only delaying the inevitable, Winona. Okay, you go down now. Fuck off! You'll really get on you know, my nerves. Just go down already. Now Tate and Liza want a rematch. Okay. I'm more than happy to oblige you. Oh, and by the way, with each subsequent rematch, uh, their teams get stronger. So, this isn't as strong as they get. I think they max out in the 60s. Oh yeah, I forgot Altering Cave opens up. Yeah, so the only place in Emerald version where uh, the Mount Moon music from Fire Red Leaf Green play. Like, it's just Zubat. So, again, Pokemon that you would have found with the E-Reader would have been in here, but nope. While we're at it, let's check out this section of the Safari Zone. This is where you find the Pokemon that would have been in Altering Cave. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be training for the final battle, but, you know... Might as well give you a little bit more to watch, right? There's a nugget. I will take that. As far as I know, there's nothing here that would be useful to me. At least as far as species goes. Yeah, I was led to believe you'd be able to find stuff like Onyx and Pineco and stuff like that. 
Actually, I think you can find Pineco here, but... Honestly, it's a bit late to add new members to the team. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing before we take on Steve. Back at his house... And here we get... a Beldum. And what are we gonna call you? Dio, how about that? Alright. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's end this. And here's a DM for Iron Tail. Again, I had to fix this map because this one was completely broken. And this takes us right into here. And there he is, the man of the hour. So to review, here's my present team. All of them trained to level 75. This is within the level range of Steven's team, but... His team maxes out at level 78. So, we have Hellion the Magnemite. Move, holding Neverstone, moveset is Spark, Metal Sound, Thunderbolt, and Thunder Wave. Then we have Electric Eye, the Magneton. Uh, whoops. Holding a Magnet. Knowing Thunderbolt, Tri-Attack, Metal Sound, and Screech. Next up, we have Alice, the Agron. God damn it, keep doing that. Holding a Silk Scarf, and knowing Double Edge, Earthquake, Metal Claw, and Dragon Claw. Honestly, I should probably get rid of that, but whatever. Then we have Protomech, the Registeel, holding Leftovers, and knowing Return, Thunderbolt, Brick Break, and Curse. Then we have Aces Eye, the Skarmory, holding a King's Rock, and knowing Air Cutter, Swift, Steel Wing, and Spikes. Let's show you what they'll do. And then Black Sabbath, the Metagross. Holding a Shell Bell, and knowing Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Meteor Mash, and Psychic. This is your dream team, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the Battle of the Band. Alright. Here goes nothing. Alright. I'll hold you to that. Alright, one down, but that was honestly the easiest of this Pokemon to take out. Hmm. I am pretty sure I'm gonna get knocked out. Yep. No surprises there. You hit him pretty hard, Hellion. Good job. Go get him, Black Sabbath. Yeah, I'll take a little damage from Spikes, but it's inconsequential. Down you go. Two down, four to go. There 
Here comes Claydol. Now, interestingly, although he's supposed to be a Steel-type specialist, in reality, I consider him more of a Rock-type specialist, considering that's what half his team is. But then again, actually, no. No, half his team is Steel-type. He has three Steel-types. One of them is also a Rock-type. He's got the Fossil Pokémon. And then he's got Claydol. Right. Alright. Half his team's down. So far, so good. Not as much as I'd hoped. I was hoping for a special defense drop, but I'll take it. Fair enough, I was expecting that. Alright, we're down two to three. This may be a little risky. Yeah, I got to do some setup here. And yes, I got to use some items, but the way I see it, Steven can use items. So, why can't I? I'll try and keep their use to a minimum, but... Yeah, we're not going to do what we did against Drake. We're actually going to try and do this, quote-unquote, legit. Alright. Keep setting up Curse. Every time I use it, I'm going to take less and less damage from Earthquake. Unless, of course, he crits, but that's another story. Plus, he'll run out of Earthquake attacks pretty soon anyway. Boo! Get better material! Jeez, it's like a modern Iron Maiden song. You don't know when to end. Okay, I think that's good enough. Or not. Okay. Pushing it here, I know.
Okay. Let's see, he's gotta be out of earthquakes or close to it. Yep, he's out now. And now my attack and defense are both maxed out. Time to go beast mode. Didn't need to overpower you, just needed to outlast you. Two left. Okay, I'm going to just soften me up a little bit. Because otherwise this is going to get ridiculous. Down you go. And now you should just go down in one hit, because you shouldn't be able to resist Brick Ray. Like Armaldo with Dual Bug and Rock Type. That's it! Game over! It's all over. That's a very good question. And that wraps up this series. If you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Rumble page. If I have 10 subs on YouTube or 10 followers on Rumble by the time this is uploaded, I'll go and do the contest as well. I might do it anyway for all I know, but that'll just give me an excuse to do it sooner rather than later. What am I going to do next? Who knows? In the meantime, stay frosty. Catch you next time.